Hello, my friend. Today we've got a little bit of a theme going on, in case you couldn't tell. I was able to get my hands on Culture Hustle's new batch of the orangiest orange, now even more orangier. That would be this one here. Isn't the face cute? And then, luckily, I've also got last year's batch. So I thought maybe we could do a little bit of a review of the new color and also see just how much of a change the batch has gone through in the past year. So I am very excited to see how this turns out. I hope you are too. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step we have to mix the two colors uh, with a little bit of water and Culture Hustle's Super Base. And then we'll, I'm going to try to get the same consistency between both colors. And then I've got a 4x4 white canvas and 4x4 black canvas. I had to paint this black canvas with a black gesso because I don't think they make, or at least Michaels doesn't have this particular size canvas in black. So we're gonna mix them two together. I'm gonna do, let's say, the top row will be the new orangiest orange, and the bottom will be last year's batch. And we'll take a look and see what we get. It's so bright. Look at it next to that pumpkin. So pretty. There is a very obvious color difference, whereas this is a lot more red than this. This is like on the yellow side of orange. This is on the red side of orange. So I'm really curious to see how they're gonna look on these canvases. Okay, so this is one coat down. I definitely have to wait and see what it looks like when it's dry, but I'm probably gonna do another two coats at least, and then we'll see um, it, what kind of finish it has. I'm excited because I've done a review for the Pinkest Pink, and I painted a beautiful unicorn, and it has this really nice kind of matte feeling to it. I love it, it's beautiful. I'm pretty excited about the idea of doing another unicorn in this brand new orange. So pretty. We are at coat number five and it's, it's a little too thin for my liking. So I needed to mix some more paint anyway. So I decided to not add the water just yet. I only did it with this color, so I'll mix the other one for you. But look at how much thicker that is. The lid was a little confusing because it says one part water and then it says stir into the super base or the linseed oil. So I assumed that meant I still needed some water, but that made it very thin. I like this kind of consistency a lot better. Sorry, wasn't in the camera. This consistency a lot better. We'll have to see what it looks like on the canvas, but I think this is gonna do us a much better service because I can still see the white and the black behind the paint and I wanted really to see how many coats we could use to you know, eliminate that factor. So I've got this one still to mix, the new batch of orange. Thank you. 
much better. Much better indeed. Now that we've got our paint mixed, I'm going to try at least one or two more coats and hopefully then I'll be able to wrap this video up for you. How wonderful are these shades of orange? Wow. I am really happy I decided to not add water when I remixed the paint. It is a much better consistency. And I'm sure it varies depending on what project or your own personal taste. I myself love my paints to be nice and thick and gooey. So this was wonderful. That really added a nice thick coat to it. I added, I think, two or three of the nice thick coats and it's such a difference absolutely wonderful now i believe these colors will glow with a black light so we are going to do a quick black light test to see i'm so excited Wow, the new orange is most certainly way orangier. It's so bright and beautiful. The old shade is also bright and beautiful, but it's more in a red sense. And the bottle actually looks pink. So I'm sure that's that's one reason they had to change it, but it is still very orange and it is still gorgeous. Well, my friend, that's it for today's review of Culture Hustles, the orangiest orange. I absolutely love this new batch and I definitely see an orange unicorn in my future. This beautiful shade of orange is great but that does not mean that last year's batch was not just as wonderful it's very much a different shade of orange but it is still incredibly orange i love that both colors glow under a black light if you want to try the orangiest orange for yourself just keep in mind that it is a limited time item only available in october so try and get yours while you can. It's not very expensive, only about $5 a pumpkin. And then if you do happen to miss your chance this October, I'm sure it will be back again next October. Thank you so much for watching and have a magical day.